Hey, welcome to day one of the Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a quick preview to the This Is My Crew Brewers um, playoff bound preview. I did a preview on all the other teams other than the Braves. I'm going to do right after this one if you want to check it out in the MLB playoff bound playlist or the series previews that I'm going to be doing as well for this series right after these videos. If you want to check the other series previews out, please check them out. As always, please comment and subscribe down below or with the widget up top at the end. Really appreciate your support. So let's get right into it. This Brewers team is a very well put together team managed by one of the better managers in baseball in console, Craig Council, excuse me there. Um, and they have a great pitching rotation. They have Freddie Peralta, obviously. They got Corbin Burns going in Game 1. And they got Brandon Woodruff going in Game 2. They got three potential Cy Young pitchers there. Then you got Adrian Hoser, who's actually still a pretty good pitcher um, when it comes to all things considered. Just not the level of them. But they got a deep rotation. They've got a very good bullpen out there in Milwaukee. So when it comes to pitching for this Milwaukee Brewers team... They really got nothing to worry about. Like I said, they already got Hauser. They brought in Hunter Strickland. He's a veteran. Eric Lauer had a good season for them. So it just goes on and on when it comes to kind of finding and executing on that pitching for them. When it comes to hitting, they have, of course, their big kahuna that they were able to acquire this season was Willie Adamas from the Rays that allowed Wanda Franco to then flourish with the Rays, and then Willie goes over there and flourishes, which it was nice to see Kevin Cash give him his props and say how happy he was to see him be in the playoffs, and he's very happy to see him um, succeeding over there. And then they also were able to bring in Colton Wong, who of course has been to the playoffs and had success with the Cardinals. So you have some guys that have the experience there plus a guy in Adamas that's just very good, albeit doesn't have the experience, but looks like he's an emerging star. So you're going to want to have him. You got Eduardo Escobar, who's a nice, experienced veteran to have. Jace Peterson emerged. Obviously, the thing you're going to be looking for, Avisayo Garcia was a great pickup. The thing you're going to be looking for for the Brewers, for how far they're going to go into the playoffs, is the former MVP, Christian Yellows, because this team already has a good lineup of all the people I already mentioned, plus Lorenzo Cain in there as a veteran. But in order to go the farthest, you're going to need who is technically your best player, because he really is talent-wise. It's just he didn't perform to that level this year. You saw Belly and Yelly competing for an MVP a few years ago. Both of them struggled this year, but at least Yellows still had a impactful, in some sense, season where Bellinger did not at all. So I think Christian Yellows will be able to kind of push the numbers aside. We've seen a couple of players in the Chris Taylors of the world, the Bogarts of the world, among others, already push their crappy regular season numbers aside and just come into the playoffs and have success. And he's definitely a guy that's going to be able to do that. And if he does that, you have a great four deep outfield with then Tyrone Taylor as your extra guy because you got Bradley, you got Kane, you got Garcia, and you got Yellish. The big thing, um, obviously, when it comes to the Brewers, that you're looking for in their offense, that might be the one weak point is Vogelbach to Les. They're not bad for his baseman. That's just the weakest point you would probably say when you look at their team. But this team has a good lineup. They have a good through and through pitching rotation. I would definitely say on paper, even with the moves the Braves made, and it obviously played out this year since the NL was the NL least instead of the NL East, where it seemed like whatever team made that was just going to get it by the skin of their teeth, which is exactly what happened um, for Atlanta there. I think the Brewer team definitely has the better on paper and filled out team. They also have the more proven, like I said, you got three Cy Young level pitchers there. You got great pitching in Atlanta led by the Dole, um, Charlie Morton, and then you got the youngsters and Anderson and others there as well as Freed. But they haven't been doing it for even as long as the Burnses and Woodruff of the world, the youngsters. So I do think I would have to give that to the Brewers, and then the lineup, the lineup is definitely closer because it all depends on what Yelly, what Kane's able to do in the postseason. Will the, one of the first basemen since his unsung heroes, Telez or Vogelbach, get hot, and that will really contribute. The lineups, I would say, are more even because picking up the Rosarios for the Braves, that did help them, but I'll talk about that more in the series preview. But I do think for the Brewers, their lineup and their pitching stacks up very well in this postseason to really go against anybody and to definitely go against the Atlanta Braves with their first three. It's going to be a very good pitching series when it comes to that series as a preview to the preview. So stay tuned for that. But this has been the 
um, Brewers Playoff Bound video. If you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe down below or on the widget up above. Go Brewers. I hope you guys have a successful postseason since I obviously am not a fan, as you can tell from behind, of the Atlanta Braves. So I'll definitely be rooting for you guys and definitely would slot you guys as the favorites coming into this series as well, but that don't mean anything. It's playoff baseball. Anything can happen, as we know from the past, but I would definitely slot the Brewers as the favorites going into the series because of the stack pitching we highlighted in this video, plus the very good lineup that if Yelly just turns into Yelly again, well, damn, look out. That team's going to be scary. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. Enjoy the rest of the playoffs. Peace out, everyone.